Did you grow up a Beaver fan? Uh, you know, the Oregon State's always been a dream school of mine since I was little, just being in the area. You know, I'm from Portland, a small town, so it was the closest school. You know I mean? So I was just familiar with the school when I was younger. You, well, you weren't divided at all with Oregon, Oregon nah, State, or always, nah. uh, uh, always Oregon State? Well, always Oregon State. Yeah. Did, um, what other schools were you really serious uh, looking at when you were? Um, like I just said, growing up, Oregon State has been a dream school of mine. So, you know, uh, when I first went to uh, camp and Coach Bray and them, I talked to Coach Bray, Coach Smith, came on my visit, everything just fitted so fitted well for me. So I just thought it was the right fit for me. Was it, was it, was some, did some of it have to do with opportunity? Because at that position, they've, you know, they, they're willing to play freshmen if they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was opportunity and development. You know, Coach Bray is a great coach, and he was like one of the main reasons why I chose Oregon State. Just his knowledge and intelligence on inside backer and just the whole game overall just helped me. Why, why do you think you were ready for, for this situation, you know, just months out of getting out of high school? Uh, I've always been ready. Just I knew coming in that it was going to be hard. So I was just ready to tackle on any challenge and adversity that just came towards me and just run with it. What have you been able to, to you know, from Melvin and Isaiah, what have you been able to get from them to help you with this position? Uh, you know, both of them are great leaders. You know, coming in as a freshman, I feel like Melvin Jordan, he took me under his wing pretty fast. You know, just getting down, he wanted me to be great as he wants everybody else to be great on his team. So, you know, getting that extra film work during the summer at his crib, just, I just, great leader, great person just overall. I think it was Saturday your first sack. I think. It was, what, first one. What what happened on that play? Uh, they had called called my play, and I was just going ready to go in there, be physical, and make the play. But, you know, I wouldn't have made the play if Olu never came in physical and fast and uh, put the pressure on the quarterback, causing him to roll out. So, you know, the quarterback came right to me. So, you know, I gave half of that sack to Olu. What's, what, what's that like, getting your uh, first sack in a college game? Yeah, it was a great feeling. You know, most people or most freshmen don't get the opportunity to go out there uh, at a young age and showcase what they can do. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity of being able to do that. Yeah. So that was, that was a blitz call for you on that side? It was, then? it was. What's going through your head? And, I mean, like you said, as, as a freshman, and, yeah. and, you know, uh, not everybody splits a middle back. Mm -hmm. somebody... Yeah, I just try to remain calm, just go out there and do what I know to do, just play my ball fast and physical, and I was just ready to make that play. You said Oregon State was a, a, a dream school for yeah. you. Growing up, they've had some linebackers come through here. W which were the ones that made an impression on you? Uh, Omar Spates, you know, um, his brother actually used to train me up at in Portland, so he was just telling me about him, how he was fresh and All-American and all that. You know, I just want to model my game and how he played, how fast, physical, and just model my game after his. His brother being Jer Jeremy. Jeremy, yep, yeah. yep. Are you and Jeremy still close? Yeah, we are. Is, it, is he based out of Portland now? Uh, so he grew up in Philly yeah. and then moved down to Portland. Because right. uh, my junior year, he had came to uh, coach at my school. And then he was telling me how he went to Oregon State and how his brother was a, a inside linebacker. And I told him how Oregon State was recruiting me. And he was just telling me how like he it's like that. And Coach, all of it, Coach, Coach Bray, and I feel like Coach Bray was able to develop me. What? Well, sorry, really specific questions, but like, what, what was his role in that Central Catholic staff when he was coaching there? Oh, uh, who's coach? Oh, not it wasn't at Central Catholic. It was at Roosevelt. My oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, uh, but um, I, he was the edge or D line coach. He wanted me to play edge, <laughs> but they wanted me to play backer. Um, so yeah. That's got to be kind of kind of cool to. I mean, like you said, a dream school, and yet you have mm -hmm. a guy who, who's done it there and yeah. performed really well mm -hmm. at, at times for Oregon State. Mm -hmm. And it, it's got to be fun to, to kind of have that mentor kind of helping you. Yeah, it is this. for sure, for sure. What do you What do you feel like is is going on with the run defense right now? Is is it simply a matter of you guys are a little on the inexperienced side and maybe not playing as fast as as you would if you were older? Or, or mm -hmm. what do you What do you think? Of it? Uh, I would say you know all of us we still have a lot of improvement to do you know, just putting more time into the film room. But I feel like as we come along and start playing more as a team, doing our one of 11, we're going to be, we're going to be good. And, you know, it just starts in practice, you know, playing, playing fast, communicating, having that energy edge, 
execution is just be great. What one area that did seem to uptick last week was you guys got in the backfield a lot, made, I think you had eight tackles for loss, which is a season high. Was there something you felt like as a defense you were able to, to, to do a little better last week than uh, I'll just week? say our energy, just having that high energy and that just wanting to make those plays, you know, everybody doing their one of 11, 